Welcome back Sports Nation and my champions. In this video, we're going to take a look at the trade that happened over the weekend between the Lions and Rams in what I call Monday morning general manager. The first thing we want to take a look at is the deal itself. Uh, obviously, the Rams get Stafford. Uh, the Lions get Goff, two firsts and a third. Uh, the third is this year's. They couldn't give a first round pick this year because they had already traded it away from Jalen Ramsey. Next thing we want to do is take a look at the quarterbacks and their performances. Um, obviously, Matt Stafford's older. He has more time in the league. He's only been to the playoffs once. You can see by this asterisk here. So we have uh, their records, completion percentage, touchdown to interceptions, uh, the quarterback rating, QBR, determined by ESPN, number of times they've been sacked. This is fourth quarter comebacks and game-winning drives. Um, some of the things that, that are noticeable to me, I'm going to look at Jared Goff here, is they went to the playoffs uh, second and third year. This is the year that they went to the Super Bowl and they ended up losing to the Patriots. And you can kind of see so, a lot of his numbers kind of jumped up here. And then, especially with the quarterback rating, looked real good. And then it's been kind of a little decline over the last couple of years. Um, same thing with the QBR. Stafford, um, basically, last few years, I know he only played half a season here, but, I mean, he's hovering around 10 interceptions, Goff's a little bit more, and also the, some of the noticeable things, obviously, is the, the, the quarterback rating. So I would say it's a little bit better here, the last couple of years. Um, he's been sacked a lot in uh, Detroit, obviously. They've, they've had line issues for years now. Not so much here with the Rams. Um, and I like this as far as uh, fourth quarter comebacks now. You know, maybe the team wasn't behind and he had to win games. But I think that's what Stafford gives you versus Jared Goff. Uh, I wasn't too keen on him when he came out. Uh, he has had some success, but I don't think as much as he should, given that he was a, a number one overall pick. I think Stafford overall has a better resume, and he's probably a better player. But is he really worth two firsts and a third? That's the question. So next thing we want to do is take a look at how this is going to impact the teams themselves. Well, first thing I want to do is take a look at the how this is going to affect their salary caps. Uh, Detroit right now is a little bit under the cap, while the Rams are are seriously over the cap at about thirty million. This is estimated. Now, this is based on the low end of what they think the salary cap will be at 176. So it might be up a little bit. That has not been officially set by the league yet. But still, they, they have a bit of work to do. As far as this year goes with the salary cap, there's not much difference. You can see here 35 to 33. Not There's no significant difference here. The big thing with the Rams, or big thing with this deal is that Goff is going to make $43 million guaranteed under his current contract. And that's where you kind of start seeing this. So he's going to make anywhere from 38. It kind of steps down to tw uh, 28 million through uh, 2024. Whereas uh, Stafford will make 33 and 26. And then the contract's voidable after two years. Uh, I, I can, I can kind of see the strategy on both sides. I mean, we can be honest here. The Lions are not uh, a contender yet. I think they could get something for Stafford and they got two number ones and a three that will help them kind of rebuild. I could see them keeping Goff for one, maybe two years and then jettisoning him here and getting a, a huge cap savings here. Uh, meanwhile, you know, probably drafting a quarterback either this year or next year and grooming him. Meanwhile, the Rams are basically all in. They've been trading their first round picks every year, ironically, uh, since 2016, that was the year they picked Goff first overall. So, yeah, all their chips are basically on the table. So, I would say as far as a verdict goes, unless the Rams end up winning the Super Bowl with Stafford, and it's possible, he's definitely an upgraded quarterback. But unless they do, I would definitely say the Lions have won this, uh, won this deal. So, what do you think about this deal? I'm interested in seeing your comments below. I'll put this as a pinned comment. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. 
thank you for watching and supporting my channel.